So I understand that you have condemned the phrase from the river to the sea, but I also know that the Harvard School of Public Health has a course called the Settler Colonial Determinants of Health that introduces students to the concept of settler colonialism and its health equity implication. It uses case studies in the United States and Palestine and talks about poor health outcomes for indigenous and other non-settler communities. Pre President Gray, are you aware that Jews were indeed indigenous to the land of Israel and have lived there for 2,000 years? I do know about the long history in Israel. So what is Harvard doing to educate members of the community about these phrases and other false accusations that Israel is a racist, settler, colonialist, apartheid state, given that Harvard is actually teaching courses with the underlying premise that Israel is a colonial, a settler colonial state. We have faculty, we have outside speakers who come and over the last couple of months in particular have, have been providing more insight into the nature of the conflict and the ways forward. And obviously we have more work to do and that's part of how we're going to eradicate anti-Semitism on our campus. Sadly, my time is expiring, but I'd like to follow up on that and other courses at Harvard, and I'd also like to follow up uh, with Ms. McGill about how her students felt, her Jewish students felt, after the Palestinian writers uh, meeting, and whether they, in fact, felt the Thank you, Ms. Manning. Thank Ms. you, Madam Chair. Ms. Miller, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Dr. Gay, when Harvard